Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In the previous tutorial guys, we were hiding h3 tag using jQuery. In this tutorial, we will do the same thing, but we will put our jQuery code inside external jQuery file. For that, we will firstly create a, jQ a new file and then we'll start writing here. We'll write document dot ready. Then firstly, I'll save it. I'll give it a name of code dot js you can give any name js is its extension so i'll save it so now i will remove this code from here the code inside this script tag so i will remove it i'll type it here document dot ready function and then the same code i want to hide s3 tag so i'll type s3 dot hide and then i will give it a speed of two seconds now our external jquery file has been created now we have we also have to include it inside this html document so i write script type equal to text javascript then type the source of this file it is located inside the same folder and its name is code so i will type code.js and then I'll close this close the script tag. Now I will test it in browser. Now you can see it's working properly. The main advantage of this code uh, of this approach is that it will separate your jQuery code from HTML document. Just for an example. Suppose I wanna I have all h tags like h1, h2, h3, h4 and I will also change it here and uh, if I'll use it this jQuery inside here now I have to copy the type this code again and again then h1, h2 h3 h4 now guys you can see the size of html document has been increased so the readability of html document will be decreased h1 h2 h it will work but it will decrease the readability of html document and it will also increase the file size of html document so we'll run it in browser i can see it's working properly if i will put this code inside external jQuery file. Oh, delete it. Now you can see the code is inside a separate file and the readability of HTML document is good. So this was the main advantage of using external jQuery files. So thanks for watching this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. So let's see you in the next tutorial.